How's it all going with your build? OK. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's OK, but we're, we're kind of coming to crunch time now, really, with really making decisions. So I've arranged exclusive access to a house in North London that's full of architectural tricks that make it feel larger than its footprint. So this is the house I'm taking you to see. Oh, wow, it's amazing. I've brought you here really to show you how every square inch of a house needs to work really hard and actually be considered in terms of every detail. So let's go in and have a look. OK. Oh, wow. It's so bright and light in here, isn't it? This house was originally built in the mid-50s and it's recently been extended and remodelled to maximise the feeling of light and space in the building. It's not actually that big, but it feels like it's really big. It gives a good sense of space, doesn't it? Do you Absolutely. Glass with frosted film allows natural light to fill the hallway and the space is clutter-free thanks to built-in storage down one wall. In the spirit of every square inch being used effectively, yes. this is really clever. So a mirror that actually is a cupboard. So yeah, having yeah, absolutely. your coat and your hat and all that, just being able to put it there and have a mirror that's flush with the wall is really nice. If you build in storage rather than add cupboards or coat hooks, it becomes part of the architecture and doesn't dominate the space. It's a great trick for a clutter-free home. This door head is flush. It's actually wider mm. than normal. This is a pair of doors, full height. And being so wide and so high really gives you a sense of space, doesn't it? It's wonderful. It does. I mean, you can yeah. see just how important something like that yeah. is. Yeah. And then when it comes down to the floor, there's no skirting. No, there's just a shadow gap that runs yeah. around. Keeping walls free of fussy finishes like coving and skirting can save on the cost of materials. They just don't have the clutter and the, of the no. architraves and no. stuff going around your eyes yeah. and just using up precious bits yeah. of inches of space. The architects, Lipton Plant, have designed the house so you can see all the way from front to back, which makes it feel larger, as does the use of one type of flooring, laid here on an angle. This floor is great the way it runs from there right the way through. Mm. Brings your eye out to the garden mm. as well, doesn't it? Does, it does, absolutely. Yeah. This is so great because it's a piece of furniture that hangs off the wall on mm. several metal brackets. It's kind of floating, isn't it? It does, yeah. The nicest thing is that the floor runs all the way underneath it, so mm. this floats. And there's none of that conventional, you know, 150 black yeah. Yeah. kick plate. Yeah. Yes, which we have in our kitchen have. at this moment in time. Uh, Most people have those. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Raising furniture up and allowing the floor to run underneath is a design trick that makes a room feel bigger by drawing the eye to its full width. You can do this with off-the-shelf kitchen units. It's a great way you can make a small kitchen feel larger. It just adds to the airiness and the space. It does. Yeah. These drawers are beautiful as well. Look at this. Oh, yeah. So there's a splash of colour inside. Yeah. So this is pink, but you can't quite see the pink until you right. see the yellow, oh, interestingly. Yeah. Here, sliding doors bring light into the whole of the rear of the house. These high-end ones cost around 15K, but cheaper ones are widely available. This big opening is really nice, isn't it? I mean, particularly this oh, yeah. great colour. I mean, yellow is a pretty bold choice for a window frame, but here it's beautiful, particularly because you see the yellow against the grey sky. Mm. Making window or door frames yellow is a really useful design trick. It gives the light a warm glow, brightening the room, even on a dull grey day. I would have thought having yellow doors would be awful, like, but, but actually seeing them in, in, in real life, I mean, they look great. They're a nice feature. The aluminium frames were powder-coated during manufacture. A cheaper way you can achieve the same effect is to use yellow paint on the window reveals. 